hi friends welcome back to Laravel tutorial so in this video I am going to show you how to find the user details through your user IP right so using the IP address we will find all the details of the user so how we can do this so let's very simple so just it is my Laravel application and it is the latest 8.51 version and I am using the PHP 8.0.8 .8. So I already installed my Laravel application. So this is the running. Okay. Hope you know how to install the Laravel application. If you don't know, you can check my playlist. I have already lots of video in Laravel 8. Okay. So let's start. So basically I want to see the user details through the IP. So for this we have package that is Steve Bauman package. So let's install the package first. So I am creating a new tab and let's install. So install composer, requiver and the package name that is steve bauman slash the location right so let's enter this so it will install the steve bauman package into your application so it may take some times right so package is installed it's quickly installed right so if we just go inside here and let's configure this package inside the config app.php okay so here you will basically get the two things one is the provider and another is the aliases so basically we will use the steve bauman package inside this provider and we will create aliases for this so actually we are using the alias name in the application so let's add the steve bauman package so right here steve bauman b a U M A N Steve Bauman slash the location it's the location package and the next things we need to use the location service provider right so it's appear and colon colon plus okay and in the same way we will add the aliases name so suppose I am creating aliases that is the name is location right and name the path so here will the path will be the steve bauman that is s t e p e b a u m a n okay so correctly spell this package name and slash location so right here location slash the facets slash location right and colon colon plus okay so the package is add it into our app dot php so let's create a controller and we will use this package inside that controller so to create a controller write php artisan make controller c o n t r o l l e r and my controller name is suppose location and you can use the user location controller right so it will create sorry in service provider steve st sorry spelling mistake so we need to use the steve bauman so here inside here step -E steve bauman okay so let's try it again and the controller created so if we just go inside here and you can see app http controllers that is user location controller okay so let's create a function inside here so public function my function source index function okay whatever you can add and inside here i will just create a view so write written view suppose the view name is location right and let's create a location view so just go inside the resource so here is my resource and view just create location dot blade sorry dot php okay so view is added and let's add this controller into the routes so just go to the routes so here is my route inside the web dot php just use the namespace so here is the namespace app http controllers and then the class name that is user location controller right so all are added and we need to use this okay 
and let's create a route for this to display so route get and suppose the url is location and name the controller that is user location controller colon colon class and the function name okay so i am using the index function so this is the url where we can find the location and just simply go to the location and use the html broiler template and here suppose write user location this is the title of this page and inside the h2 tag i am simply writing any text so that we will test this how it's working so simply write find user details using ip address okay so let's see how it's working so just go to this url and here we can see the find user details using ip address okay so let's fetch the user details to the ip address so first of all just go to the google and search find my ip okay so you will get my ip so spelling mistake the google is smart so this is my ip address so using this ip address we will fetch my current location so you can get any location by using this so i am showing you the procedure how you can do this so i am setting a static ip so this is the ip address and i want to fetch the records related to this ip so we need to use this location here so this is the alias name so inside the controller just use this location and just use this here location get and here just write the dollar ip okay and i am storing these things into a variable so right here user details okay so let's see how it's appearing so i'm just going to use the dd so inside the dd we will see all the things which are getting from the locations so let's go to the browser and refresh this so here we can see the ip which are provided and i'm using from the india so country name india the country code the region code region name city name zip code and all those things latitude longitude and area code whatever okay so we will basically get all the things which we need and using this we can use anything right so just view this inside from blade so just use the compact so basically i am trying to pass this variable into the view so this is the user details and inside the here we are just printing these things suppose right in the h4 tag okay so slash h4 and here suppose to write the ip equal to the dollar user details ip okay so we have all the variables and in the same way we'll do for all things so use the beer also so i'm just using simple html so you can use your own design but it is a simple design just to display you how these things are working okay so let's paste this sometimes right and here we need the country name okay so country name and same way write country code and then region name region code region code region name okay so right here region code region name and zip code so right here zip code and the next thing is latitude longitude okay so use this latitude and longitude right so i removing the extra things and just use this that is the country name and here just write country name country code this is the country code then region code so write here region code and then 
region name so right region name then zip code okay so here i am not using the city name you can use the city name also so you will get in this variable and latitude and longitude okay so all things i am printed and okay i remove the dd so let's refresh this so we are getting all the things in this way okay so in this way we can get any location using the ip and we can get details of this ip okay so i think you will love this video and please comment if you have any queries about this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video next we are going to discuss about some more interesting things please keep in touch thanks for watching the full video have a good day bye